Hi everyone, we meet again with another problem to solve using Singapore Math. This problem is mostly applicable for grade 3 and grade 4 but can be uh, you know used by other grade students as well. The question is Linda's father's father is 6 years older than her mother. Linda is 30 years younger than her father. The total age of Linda and her parents is 138 years. What is Linda's age and what is the ratio of Linda's age to her mother's age? We Let's take one uh, statement at a time. First, Linda's father is 6 years older than her mother. So, mother comes after older than, so mother is the, mother's age is the reference here. When we talk about Linda's father, mother would be the reference. Now, Linda is 30 years younger than her father. So in this case, if you look at it, when you compare Linda, the who comes after younger than, it's her father. So he is the reference for Linda. So first, let's draw a model for the first statement. Linda's father is six years older than her mother. So let's draw a box or model for Linda's mother. So we just draw one box and Linda's father is six years older than her mother. So Linda's father will be whatever Linda's mother's age plus six. Additionally, we have six here to represent that Linda's father is six years older than her mother. Now we come to the second statement. Linda is 30 years younger than her father. So this is Linda's father's age. Right, this is Linda's father's age, but we have to reduce 30 from this because she is 30 years younger than Linda's father. Now, when we try to reduce, we see that we have to reduce a, an arbitrary amount, but this amount has to be 30. Right, and if when we try to do that, we can compare and see that this has to be 6 because this size here is 6, which means that the remaining size here will be 24. So totally we are reducing 30 and we know this size is a known, this is a known quantity. So this is 6 which means the remaining size up to here is 24. And if this is 24, an equal sized uh, box here would also be 24, right? And that same applies for this as well. So from here to here, this is going to be 24. <coughs> and we know that this is not there. This has this should be removed, right? So, Linda, Linda's age is this much because she is 30 years younger than her father. But when we try to do that, we establish some known values for Linda's father and mother as well. The total age of Linda and her parents is 138 years. So this whole thing is equal to 138. Now, when we look at it, we can clearly see that this uh, three are of the same size. So we have three units of the same size plus some known values that is equal to 138. So let's write that down three units plus 24 plus 6 plus 24. Right? Three units plus 24 plus 6 plus 24 is equal to 138. Now when we add these three here it becomes 54. 3 units plus 54 is equal to 138 and we would like to remove this 54 from this side so we minus off 54 from both sides of the equation to maintain the uh, equality so 3 units here 54 gets cancelled away is equal to 138 minus 54 on this side so 3 units is equal to 84 and 1 unit is equal to 84 divided by 3 which is equal to 28. So this is Linda's age actually if you look at it. Linda's age is 1 unit which is 28. Now what is Linda's mother's age? This is 28 because 1 unit is 28 and so Linda's mother's age would be 28 plus 24 which is 52 years old. And we know that Linda's age is 28 because it's one unit here. And 
Now we go on to the next question. What is the ratio of Linda's age to her mother's age? So the ratio of Linda's age to her mother's age is Linda's age is 28. Her mother's age is 52. 28 is to 52, which we, you know that in ratio, we will have to simplify it or divide them with the common number until we get the smallest of them. So that comes to 7 is to 13. So that answers this question. Hope this was clear. Now we move on to try and solve this problem using algebra. The question I will just read out once again. Linda's father is 6 years older than her mother. Linda is 30 years younger than her father. The total age of Linda and her parents is 138 years. What is Linda's age? What is the ratio of Linda's age to her mother's age? So now when we look at here, Linda's father is 6 years older than her mother. So mother comes after older than, so mother is the reference. So let's assume age of Linda's mother is X. In the previous case, we just drew a box, but in algebra, we represent the unknown quantities in terms of alphabets. It can be anything, but generally we start using like X, Y, it could be A, B, M, and anything actually, right? It just means it's, we don't know the value of this. And Linda's father is six years older than or more than. So he has to be whatever is the mother's age plus six. And Linda is 30 years younger than her father. So father's age minus 30 will give Linda's age. So Linda's age is x plus six minus 30. So this is how we represent the age of all of these three people. Right? Now, the next statement says the total age of Linda and her parents is 138 years. So if we add these three, it should come to 138. We have to add all these three quantities so that we can um, bring up to 138. So let's write them down. X plus 6 minus 30 plus X plus 6 which is father's age plus x, which is the mother's age, is equal to 138. Now, in this, this is an equation. Um, so we are going to add up all the x uh, together. There are three x's here, x plus x plus x. So three x and six plus six is 12. 12 minus 30 would be minus 18. And that is equal to 138. Now we have to um, cancel this 18 from this side. This is minus 18. So we add 18 on both sides so that this gets cancelled off. That is 3x minus 18 plus 18. Because we are adding plus 18, we are adding 18 here. We have to add 18 on the right hand side as well so that the equality is not affected. Right? So minus 18 and 18 gets cancelled away. So 3x is equal to 156, 156 and x is equal to 156 divided by 3 which is 52 and we know that x is uh, age of Linda's mother so Linda's mother is 52 years old and Linda's mother is uh, age of Linda's mother is x so she's 52 years old and Linda's age is x plus 6 minus 30 so let's replace x with 52 52 plus 6 minus 30 that becomes 28 so we come to the last part of the question what is the ratio of Linda's age to her mother's age ratio of Linda's age to her mother's age is 28 is to 52 on simplification it becomes 7 is to 13 hope this was clear uh, some of the details I've not explained here, like, you know, how to add uh, positive and negative numbers together. I hope uh, you're familiar with that. Uh, if you are not, please let me know. We can do a video uh, specifically to understand how all that works out, how to add negative numbers and positive numbers. You know, what is the relation and how do we calculate that? Um, hope this was useful. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Please remember to share this with your friends. And if you have questions, comment below, like the video and
Let's meet again. Thank you. Bye.